my friends welcome back to another video today we will be just chatting it's just a very chatty video it's 3 5 p.m actually now and i'm just about to make my coffee but i thought before we sit down to chat i have something you know today morning i did not have my coffee because i was waiting to open this with you like i know what it is like but i want to show you i have been waiting for this for the longest time if they still have stock i will link it down below you guys i'm sorry <laughs> you know i actually went to so many village grocers tesco and i could not find the Hershey's caramel syrup and I've been wanting to make like my own caramel frap at home and I'm so excited I can't even speak I'm that excited I actually wanted to do this actually came today morning and then I saw it I'm like oh my god I can't wait to make my coffee but I was like no 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 we shall have coffee together so I've been waiting so let me get my glass and hot water and then we can make our very own Starbucks inspired caramel frappuccino Okay, so I think first we will dilute uh, a little bit of sugar and coffee first. Because I want to like put <laughs> caramel on the sides also. <laughs> I'm so excited you guys. The little things in life. That was loud. I also like whacked my leg against the bathroom wall earlier while I was bathing and now my toes hurt but nothing a little coffee can fix okay so now we're gonna whisk it up if uh, I will link the whisk down below it's from Shopee by the way this is also from Shopee I'm so excited I could cry. Ooh. That's excitement for you. Um, I don't know how to swirl it on the sides. Let's try this. Like. <laughs> I'm outside drinking the bottle instead of coffee. Yay, poor, poor, poor. Just another whisk, just to mix everything together. Okay, now, do we want to add like a caramel drizzle on the top? On top? I think we should. Because we are an MCO, there's nothing much to do. <sighs> okay, let's try it you guys, let's try it. One hundred percent recommend getting a caramel syrup. Then. Okay, cheers. Hmm, that is so good. Also, it's like going to rain, so I better start talking before like I lose complete daylight. Also, welcome back to like my bedroom corner, which I seem to like uh, sitting down and talking to you guys. Also, I'm thinking I wanna just make this like a non non-casual no, no. like a casual series here where we just sit down and I just talk about some stuff that is on my heart and all that stuff it's nothing serious it's just me giving my two cents and hopefully helping someone out there so I just did ask on my Instagram for you guys to give me some name suggestions on what we should call this series and I will try to pick what's best and I will name the video so whatever name that you see on the title of the video is the name of the series I actually sat down yesterday uh, to talk about this. I actually baked an entire cake, an orange cake, while talking uh, about what I want to talk today. And <laughs> but when I was going to upload it, I feel that something that I said in that video was not communicated well. 
and there are possibilities for people to misunderstand and get hurt which is completely not my my plan at all so here i am just trying to do it the second time around basically today what, what i want to talk about is surrounding the topic of body positivity body image uh, body shaming fat shaming you know and all that stuff so it definitely comes from I mean a lot of you know what happened on social media um, a famous Malaysian couple posted something that uh, have definitely hurt a lot of us and he have also he has also apologized um, so just this coming from that and of course I'm talking from the point of view of getting like so much of hate for being plus size I'm just sitting down just to share my thoughts with uh, people that can relate with me and I'm not going to spend my time today talking about what uh, they have done whoever whoever it is I'm not gonna we're not gonna talk about what they are doing but I want to talk about us like you and me that are actually going through this uh, first thing I'm gonna put it out there being human is not easy like, like every human being is constantly told they're not good enough so this may not necessarily apply to only plus size people it definitely applies to a lot of us but because i have firsthand experienced what it means to be plus size i'm definitely going to be speaking from that perspective but this goes to everybody people who are anorexic people who are constantly shamed for being very thin you know you get what I'm trying to say. Growing up, if you are plus size growing up, it's never easy. It's never easy going through life, having your closest people, uh, family, friends, relations, working colleagues, cousins, siblings, whatever, constantly call you names, constantly tell you uh, that you're not good enough, constantly say that your beauty is defined by how you look on the outside. And it's not easy doing that it affects us mentally it affects our confidence it and as it affects our confidence it affects the way we walk the way we talk the way we interact with people it affects all of that and I've noticed with being plus size um, the moment someone says something like you know oh you look like an elephant oh if you're a bit more thinner you'll be so pretty we get really affected by comments like this and I want to say it stems from not just a comment because people who say this would be like hey I'm just saying it as a joke but we have heard this like 2,000 3,000 times that it definitely hurts so I'm just putting it out there if you are plus size if you're going through the same journey as me as I it's not easy it's not easy but so this is what I actually want to talk about I want to talk about how we are handling the situation so you see in life no matter how much we want this world to be a kind loving place we want family members to embrace us for who we are and how much of positivity and self-love we put out there there will always be people that don't agree with us that is how life works because you see even five fingers every finger is not the same kind it's the same concept not everybody will agree with you not everybody will love you not everybody will see things from the way you see it and it's okay so that's what I want to say actually it's totally okay if someone doesn't think beauty standards have changed if so it's totally okay if someone thinks like oh you will look prettier if you reduced weight I mean it's whatever like I would say try to look at it in a way like or you think like that yeah that's opinion like it doesn't bother me it's I'm who I am because I've noticed something you you see the dynamic of what happens is um, okay so let's say this person uh, and this is us so this person would say something in a passing comment they would say for example oh my goodness so fat you should lose weight they would just say it in that split second and then we would have listened to this we would have gotten affected and this person would have continued life and we would be here being upset being angry um, being so revengeful we have so much hatred so much resentment towards this person but this person is not aware of what they have done and most of the time they do not care what they have done that's something we have to take into consideration so if you have someone who does not care 
about what they do. My question is, why do we spend so much of time, so much of effort being hateful and being hurt with somebody who just said it just in the fluke of the moment. It is not worth it because we would spend hours like I have done this. This is all coming from personal experience. I'm not sitting here saying I've never done this before. It's a personal experience. I've done this, but I've realized what a waste of my time this has been. Um, because what happens is, uh, let's say I'm a very positive person. Someone would have said that to me and that would have first of all hurt me because we are all human beings. We get hurt. And then I would spend hours debating in my mind, like, how can this person say this? Like, how can you actually say that to someone? You know, I would be having dialogues in my head or I would be speaking to friends and then friends would be saying like, yeah, this person shouldn't have said it. And the more I kept talking about it, the more I spoke and spoke, I realized I had so much of hate, so much of resentment, so much of my anger, my peace was taken away from me. Where else this person who did it is continuing life not affected so my question is to all of us is people will say stuff throughout our life it can be your closest person it can be your mother it can be your husband it can be your wife it can be the closest person but I'm saying your personal happiness is so so much more important than everything else because your peace of mind your your time alone is so 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 much so much more important than spending time and spending energy being affected by this thing and then at the end of the day when we come out from this let's say when we come out nine times out of ten when we come out we have a more negative energy towards this thing so the next time somebody says something, we are more defensive, our walls are more higher up, you know, we get very, like, I'm saying it's not needed at all. I know a lot of people might be thinking like, well, they want to do it, they don't think before they talk. Yeah, but if they want to behave like that, doesn't mean we should. I'm saying we should take everything just with a pinch of salt, pinch of salt, right, grain of salt pinch of salt and it has to stem from a place of I'm good enough I know it's not easy coming up to that level of thinking I am good enough when people are constantly tearing you down but you have to do that for yourself you have to do that there is no choice you want to sit down you want to cry today you want to be upset you want to throw things around you want to complain about how life is unfair yeah that's fine because we are human we do takes we do take days off I even I have days like that I have days sometimes I'm feeling really down and how come life is so unfair I have days like that but the difference is we have to get up and we have to build ourselves up back we cannot uh, be mercy at the words that people throw at us we cannot be mercy because uh, we cannot be mercy to it because the only person that gets affected in the long run is us is you and I only you and I get affected in the long, long run so what happens is once a very chubby a very positive chub not, no, not chubby once a very bubbly a very positive very joyful human being constantly has so much of anger resentment comes out to become a very negative person and we end up so this is where I'm coming to so this process we end up spewing out and giving out the same negative energy that was given towards us do you get me I know some people may not agree to what I'm saying <coughs> but I'm saying <laughs> we are better than that we are absolutely better than that there is no need to be a person of tit for tat, eye for an eye, that will not get us anywhere. Look at it as, okay, I, I don't want to call people names, but I'm giving you an example. If someone wants to behave like a coconut, <laughs> I will not behave like a coconut just to come to their level. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I was brought up differently, I have different values. If that person does not want to practice their values, the, does not want to be kind to others does not want to radiate positivity it's fine i will do that because trust me when i say the world is full 
full of negativity and I don't want to be a contributor to it. I know it may sound, it's a very hurtful journey to be honest because, oh if you can hear that it's actually raining, <laughs> because it's not easy brushing off comments like that, it's not easy at all. It does hurt me once in a while and you know some people will say like, oh you responded to it, that means you are hurt, you are affected, like hey, I'm human, I I'm, I'm just human, I, I will still get hurt but the difference is I will not let the hurt linger around so much that it becomes anger, it becomes resentment and it takes away my peace, I will not do that. I will get hurt, I'll be like hmm, they shouldn't have done that but it's okay, I know who I am and I'm going to continue life because it's way more fun to do that in life versus wanting to argue with everything if that makes any sense but it's fine because I know life has not been fair to a lot of us and that's okay because you see there's a saying it says every dog will have its day so we will have our day we will have uh, our moment of triumph we will have uh, the, a day will definitely come where people will look at us and say wow it was so beautiful no matter how we are and remember if there are 10 people out there saying that you are ugly, there will be another 10 saying you're pretty. It just depends on who you want to hear. If, if Yeah, so yeah guys, that's actually what I wanted to share. Sit down and just share because um, the last thing I want is, I know it's very difficult to think about all of this and be like, it's very hard to be kind to people that are mean to us, but ultimately I don't want any of us to come out from this experience more bitter, more revengeful, angry because it's not worth it because the person who did that to us are completely happy. They don't care. In fact, the moment we get sad, the moment we get angry, the moment our life, like our countenance goes down, the moment our peace goes down, they are happy because they've done their job. Imagine if somebody says that to you and you're like, whatever, I don't care and you're happy they have lost the battle that's what i'm trying to say so just a word of encouragement to all my beautiful beautiful ladies out there i know life is not it's not easy even to me it's not easy if you've not uh seen my previous video about my whole plus size journey um i will link it down below it's not been easy but life has its rewards being positive is not only for the people outside but it's for you as well when you are positive, there is a certain happiness and joy that comes with it. It's not easy. <laughs> so I'm just sending you guys all my love. I know it's not an easy place to be at. Um, just ignore what other people say. You know who you are. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. And yes, so that's all I wanted to share today. Yeah, sorry. And last thing I wanted to say. But because of this, we should never stop advocating for plus size positivity anti-body shaming we should not stop advocating for it so there's a difference between advocating and getting annoyed and getting irritated if you can advocate you can say you can tell someone like hey you shouldn't do that it's not good but if they don't want to listen it's totally fine remember five fingers not the same so as much as you have people that hate you you will have people that love you and yes I think I've rambled for so long same like yesterday anyways thank you guys for watching until here I hope you've given me like really cool um, names name this series and yes so if you want to discuss about anything just drop me a comment down below and we will take it up from there hope you enjoyed this really long rambling video and yeah so thank you so much for everyone that watched until here if you're new don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye